Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. I am at the extended. Okay. Now, the YouTube heads up, warning, challenging, difficult. The extended astrology, timing of events, when is the specific, how it's going to be, and who makes a move and what should be done. I shared all my knowledges, knowledges, knowledge, okay, <laughs> in the extended about this soulmate twin that you have and how it's going to be. The extended is a must-see, and I wouldn't say that if it's not, because I was shuffling. There was something magical. I was shuffling, and then, yep, it shows there. 100% on point. On point. Okay? So check it out. But the YouTube, uh, hold your horses. Okay? But extended, bam, chicka, wow, wow. Okay? Now, here comes your uh, your YouTube reading, and then follow me in extended. You're still lingering like the old cologne that you wore. Something about you is pulling me back, and I'm holding on. Hi Scorpios, welcome to my channel. Sorry, I look like a mess. I am a tragedy, but the good kind. <laughs> welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. I am hyper. I'm always laughing and I joke a lot. And I'm pretty sure you guys know by that. Okay, by, by now, by that time. Okay, something like that. <laughs> and sometimes my words are like this. Okay, but when regards to promoting my product, my words are always <laughs> gonna be on point, on cue. I'm pretty sure you guys know about this already, right? I made the whole cycle already of the Zodiac. But if not, I had donut, I'm sorry. And then I burnt my tongue with the, with the coffee. <laughs> so love for manifestation, lavender, driftwood, rose quartz. So this is the crystal diffuser. So it comes with it. Um, these are for people who are scared to, you know, light to fire or just want some, uh, you know, you want to bring in the energy, um, with the diffuser, right? So you can put it in your home, in your office, and it's also a nice give. That's what I thought. You know what? I'm going to give this to my mom for my Mother's Day. <laughs> so I can save. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. Mom is happy. Don't worry about that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I did an Oprah for her during the Christmas. Okay. You know what Oprah gives, right? So mom got that. Okay. I'm still, pay I'm still paying for it. <laughs> okay, welcome to Michelle. We're doing your reading. Um, the incense kits are back. New bracelets are coming next week, Scorpio. And I taught in Divine Feminine how to manifest. If you want to learn, just go there and you're going to learn something new. Okay? Um, I think today was how to manifest a soulmate. Yes, so go there and watch. Okay, it's very friendly. Watch it, okay? It's gonna help you. Okay. Okay, here we go. But that's not based on Zodiac. That's more of like, you know, the magical juju of our life. Oh, hold my hand. It's a magical spell card. Letting go after I say holding my hand. Let go. <laughs> Scorpio, can you let go? Sal, I don't. Okay, I burn them and then I let go. <laughs> I'm kidding. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> hold my hand and let go. Allow the wisdom to remain, but this thing I shall never feel again. You can never hurt me again. Mm. But I will learn from this, though. It feels like, you know, you got burned, right? So it will not, it, you know, you're numb. Okay, oh, so we're going there today, Scorpio. <laughs> you're numb. I can't feel anymore, so. Okay, I got it. <laughs> we're being a little bit of a water sign today. Got it. <laughs> okay, which means it... it Let's just ignore that because I'm not good at dealing with emotions. <laughs> okay. I really don't know how. Normally, I just shower people with gifts if I don't know how they feel. Is this you like? <laughs> you want? Okay. Oh, Sal, you're going to be a wonderful person to be in a, yes, in a relationship. Yes. Because if there's any problem, what do you want? <laughs> Yin and Yang, your twin is here. First card. So 
letting go of the twin, letting go of your soulmate. I don't know how you're going to do that because you can't. Okay, it's part of a life cycle. Can you live down down tonight? That's a Lion King. Okay. Walking away. Wow, a Scorpio is walking away from the person that they love. Who they have a spiritual connection. Thinking about it, Sal. I didn't say I walk away. Because <laughs> you're a thinking woman. I've been planning, Sal. I've been thinking. Okay, I hear you. And I've been rest and rejuvenation. I mean, resting and rejuvenation. You're trying to clear your aura, your space before you do it. Mm -hmm. You're asking your guides also. Maybe it's time for me to walk away. Maybe it's time for me to set myself free. Set me free, you know? Um, But the person is very invested in you, I feel. They look at you like you're a snack on tray. Uh, with a strength card, of course, Roar. Oh, and I said Lion King. You and the Leo sitting on a tree, tearing each other up to pieces to D. <laughs> so yeah. So you feel like, no, this time I can let go. I got a strength now. I woke up and I said, I'm done with you. Because I'm manifesting like what Sal told me. You guys know I always teach, teach manifestation. Can you help me teach how to at least lose a little bit of the quarantine? <laughs> I've been doing intermittent fasting. It's been helpful. You're welcome. Okay. Manifestation. Go there. Divine Feminine. So that I don't need to have to repeat it. Please. Okay. But if you want to bring in, I, just, I gave them the... The prayers, the how to connect with it, um, what to do, the timing and the planets that is aligning. Okay? I give it there. So watch that. It's a manifestation. Please, Scorpio, thank you. Because you got to get victory. Okay? Mm. Okay. Victory is yours. You want it. Go, go, go there. Don't even finish this reading. Go there. I suggest. I suggest. Highly, highly suggest. Highly generous suggest. Okay? So if you manifest that way, you got to get it. You understand me? Do those things that I would say in Divine Feminine, how to manifest a soulmate. You'll get it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. You guys are obedient. <laughs> What's a manifestation you're talking about, Sarah? How many candles? Tell me. What kind of salt? Tell me. Mm -hmm. It's not even that. It's very practical. The approach um, comes from divinity. Okay. It didn't come from Divisoria, it came from Divinity, okay? Haven't been in Divisoria. Is there still Divisoria? It's like this uh, shopping place. It's a very bougie place in the Philippines, okay? <laughs> it is bougie, okay? Here we go. Mm -hmm. Four of Pentacles. If there's smoke, there's fire. If there's trouble, there's a Scorpio. They're in trouble, okay? So what I got myself into... I don't know. What? Because you've been thinking a lot. And when you think, you don't want to deal with anyone, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, because I need to fix it. I need to fix it. That's a Scorpio way. Not until it's fixed, we cannot go to the next one. Kind of annoying for other Zodiac. <laughs> because you don't know how to let go. Because you want it now, I want to fix it, I want it now. And we're not going to go another day without fixing this. Yeah, they get annoyed with you with that, okay? Um, King of Pentacles, because you don't want it to interfere with your work. You don't want it to interfere with your finances, which is, you know, cross my coins, you know. <laughs> you may be my soulmate, but you're not part of my pocket, okay? <laughs> my work is my work. All right. You're a person who's proud of your work also. But you love, you love to make business. That's what you are. Mm-hmm. And they're upset with you, Five of Cups. I'm just going to call you out. This is what they're saying here. You're full of drama. Ah, oh, here we go. <laughs> you don't tell the Scorpio you're full of drama. Okay. You tell that to a Leo. <laughs> what? Okay. Five of Cups. <laughs> a Leo calls you out. Mm -hmm. Maybe a Capricorn also tells you, you're a workaholic. Capricorn right there. King of Pentacles. You never have time for me. Ooh. Someone is trying to trigger you, Scorps. Five of Swords. The Libra had this. 
Someone is calling you out and you don't know how much patience you can have with them. Mm -hmm. So I'm keeping myself quiet right now. I said, don't do this. Don't do this. Don't. Mm -hmm. You and Aries would have the same dialogue. Don't, don't, don't. Because it's like going into this dark space and you might snap and you won't know what's going to happen next. Especially if you have a Rahu moon and then you're a Scorpio moon. Rahu moon and Scorpio moon. Who child? And then put it in a Sankrati day. Who child? Okay. I don't know what to do, sir. I just don't want to be emotional and I don't want to hurt someone. <laughs> and good morning. How are you? Not so good, okay? Because you feel like, Sal, take me out. Take me out in the darkness, Lord. I don't want to be there. It's a song from Mr. Gary V. Yeah, so take me out from the darkness. <laughs> it's a good song. It's a, it's a Filipino song. Take me out from the darkness, Lord. I don't want to be there. Mm -hmm. Scorpio doesn't want to be in the dark because it shakes you. It gives you anxiety. Your emotion just rips you apart and then you cry it out and then you feel miserable and then what? Afterwards, you feel good. <laughs> it's part of your life. Seven of Swords. Okay. So this person lied to you. And again, another trigger word, Sal. You can be everything to me. You can even be not working. You tell me, it's like, I really can't, you know. But just don't lie. You know, don't lie. Don't lie to me. Knight of Wands. The lie that this person did to you is like, let's just say, oh, I can't. Because I'm going through something. And then you saw them having fun and doing amazing. Oh, right. Yeah, so you didn't have time for us, right? Because I was busy, right? And then you didn't have time. So you canceled last minute. Nine of Wands, but you're out with your friends, right? You were doing what you want. Oh, right. Okay. A Scorpio is very like this. Couple, couple, couple. If you're a couple, you and me couple. We wear the same shirt. We bleed the same time. Okay, one. That's a Scorpio. But this person is not acting like a team. Woo! <laughs> Ten of Swords. They're digging their grave. Okay. You bought the shovel, did you, Scorpio? Ten of Swords. <laughs> it wasn't a shovel, so I bought them the lot. Okay. Yeah, you're dead to me now. Five of Swords with a Ten of Swords. You said I'm the wrong. Now I, now I prove to you that you're the one who's wrong. Because you can always get the blame first. You always get the blame. And then you will find out the truth that this person played you. Then it makes everything worse. Okay. Magician. Mm -hmm. Virgo Gemini right here. So right now you're saying, it's like, no, I'm going to stop manifesting this. I will not manifest this. Why would I put myself in a situation where it hurts me? Because you love pain. If it's not painful, is it even a relationship of a Scorpio? If it's love and everything is good, is it even a relationship? It's not about culturing a toxic relationship. But this is what you gravitate until you mature. Mm -hmm. Three of Pentacles. Justice card, which is, of course, the Libra partnership. The Tower. It's not a relationship, not until it's broken down to pieces and until we're going to fix it. Mm-hmm. So up and down, up and down, this relationship is up and down, break up, up and down, break up. Yeah, just wait, watch the Divine Feminine. It's a good reading. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Justice with a tower. Do I really deserve this kind of relationship, Sal? This is what you're asking right now. Why do I always wind up with someone who will cheat on me and manipulate me to stay and then only to find out? Okay, uh, we're going to fix it again by the end of the day. Okay, so it's, it's, a, it's a vicious cycle right now. I'm seeing it here. But is it really a reading without the tower with you? Always try, always crumbling, going up, crumbling, going up. Accept it. Don't refuse it. Six of Wands and the Death card. It's never a Scorpio reading, not unless there is a complete transformation that is about to happen. Success is coming out after the separation and after everything that has been said and done between the two of you, which was hurtful words. It's looking positive now. That's how a Scorpio reading is. It goes down to the deepest part where majority of the Zodiac won't like to be. 
But then, something positive is about to change. Because you're accepting of what you are having right now. Eight of Pentacles. Not so interesting card. It really feels like you're just ignoring everything and just putting yourself to work. Eight of Pentacles. But you are still thinking, why are we separated? You guys are Ten of Swords, Death Tower. Why are we separated? You've been thinking about it constantly. You're just putting it into work. Focusing on something that can, you know, be productive. Very scorpionic. Just let me be busy so I don't have to feel. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll continue this reading. Link down there in the description box below. I feel like you are in denial. I feel like you're good at it. Mm -hmm. On numbing the feelings. Okay. But you still feel the pain. But we'll see. You would need to do some healing stuff. Okay, Scorpio? Let's see what's on the other side for this person. And what comes out of it in advice. And I feel that as much as you try to let go, you have it. Because it's your other half in the yin-yang. Okay? Thank you very much guys for watching. And I'll see you guys again. Bye. The devil. So the person cannot. And the person won't let go. You're trying. That's why I told you. They're not even there. Because...